Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Dexter waits in his office on the fire escape. There is no line. Peanut has shooed them all away all morning. The double eyes are also there with Lucy Lollipop. Lyra, pass me a fish skin, if you please. Happy to oblige, cuz. They're so crunchy and wonderful. I can't believe I've never had one in England. And you haven't even tried a Philly cheesesteak. Oh. Oh, what is that? Something for later. Don't tease me. Work up an appetite. They're big. And greasy. And the best thing you have ever tasted. Paws down. I'm quite partial to fish and chips myself. Ah, yes. Delightful. All right. Down to business. Tell him what you told me. The carrier pigeon flies down and plants himself on the stair railing. When I located Joe, he told me the new courier who replaced him was a rabbit. A cute little bunny goes by the name of Flo. Did he have a location? Nope, they don't share that info. The big guy might know, but good luck asking him. All we know is this Flo, she got the job and the password. And ever since, not one delivery has made it to Eugene. Ah, here she is. Misha appears in white fluffy glory. He's even fluffier than Eugene. The picky Pekingese. Everyone, this is Misha. It's an old friend. It's good to meet you all. You too. And while we're so happy to have this little soiree, why are we here, Dexter? When I ran into Misha the vet, she told me that the little birdie, literally a little parrot known to only a few, told him of the imposter and its henchman, a cute little rabbit. Flo was at the vet. Flo was followed home. And now, we know Flo's whereabouts. Pretty much. I went there myself. Had a sighting. It will require a stakeout. We need to learn her comings and goings. Her schedule. Her routine. Then we strike. I say yes. Yes. Then we follow her to the imposter? We oui, Peanut. We follow her to the fake Babs. And that's where I come in? Mais oui, mon chéri. If Flo... I'm her and she's me, then we'll get those bones back for you and restore my dignity. And reputation. Let's not rub it in, Pipsqueak. Peanut. Whatever. Let's do this. No one messes with the double I's. Or the double D's. Dexter, Peanut, and the gang head down to the street. They all follow Misha uptown until they reach 33rd Street. It's just a block down, number 277. Okay. We need to take shifts. Lyra, you and I will start with Misha. Then, Peanut, you take the next one with Jack and Alfie. Roger that! Okay, let's go. The dogs disperse. Dexter, Lyra and Misha keep their eyes on the prize. A small hole next to the building entrance. Sure enough, Flo hops out. Misha, Lyra, follow her. She knows me. If she sees me... She will know something is off, but you, you will be incognito. Misha and Lyra follow Flo. She hops all the way to the dog park. They watch as Flo hands out cookies to each dog. Uh, More where that came from if you join us. She's raising an evil army. Shh, she's recruiting. They follow her back to her building, where she disappears once again into the small hole and where Dexter waits across the street. Well, anything? They've got a plan. Feels like they're trying to take over New York. The king won't be pleased to hear that. And while you are gone, the imposter went out for a walk with her human. 
They live in the same building. I bet in the same apartment. And I bet all those bones are hidden in there. It's very possible. Peanut, Jack, and Alfie are round the corner. Ready for their surveillance shift. She's in there. Babs, too. We'll be watching. It seems they are planning something. A coup, so to speak. It might be time to speak to Eugene. Well, I'm not going when you tell him. You know how he is. Oh, I'll stay with you, Alfie. I prefer to stay out of these things. I'm just here for the mysteries. Peanut. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm going with you. Me too. We need to come up with a plan. But we'll need backup. And that's where Eugene comes in. I could call a tribunal. Too many rats in that network. We can't trust nobody. We'll watch now. See if they make any moves. And tomorrow, we go to the Pekingese. Dexter, Lyra, and Misha head home. The rest of their friends stay and keep watch. But what none of them know is that Flo and the imposter, the fake Babs, that is, have been watching them this whole time, right from their warm and cosy window at home. Looks like we've got more work to do. (laughs) Oh, how I love this. Dexter and the double eyes. Will I never seen it coming? (laughs) But Dexter already has. He knew they were watching. He could feel their eyes on him. And when he looked up, there they were in the fifth floor window. He did not want to make a scene, but instead played it cool. Dexter was already plotting a different course of action. One that he would explain to his friends in secrecy. One that would need to wait until tomorrow when they would all meet again. And he is Detective Dexter after all. He always has a plan. (laughs) 